just so you know. Session five is the case swallow. We have the cracker swallow that we talked about and the one meal swallow. And then the tongue touch, instead of the three row rants, it's only one. Okay. And then the time chart. Mm -hmm. Session six is the same thing. You still have the time chart. The oral screen is with the lips closed and the rubber band, so they have that, like, you can use the orange peel or you can use the wax that okay. we gave you. Excuse me. I'm pressing the yawning case swallow for you. <laughs> so the case swallow here is, like, ka ka. This one is ka. Oh, so you okay. want to make that ah for the back of their throat. So when you, you do... Can you try that one? Can you say ka ka with your flower? Ka, oh, that's ka, a flower. Ka, yeah. Mm -hmm. ka, we're gonna sound like little crows. Yeah. So it's gonna be more of an aww. Uh oh, oh, that woke the baby up. <laughs> He's like, what's happening? Yeah. So in just session six, you wanna change more of the aww versus the ka. Okay. So we're gonna go ka, ka. Just gives the palate a little okay. more different. Um, but this is still the same. Like the meals, you can do it as a snack where you do the lips open and the everything we drink, taking the small sips. So you just want to encourage like small bites, small hmm. sips, swallowing with your tongue on the roof of your mouth. These ones are harder because they're younger. Okay. So it's less and just small to make it more doable for them. The no. Small bites so a lot of times kids will, if people in general, and I just did not know here. I was eating in the car and I took these huge bites. And then when you take too big bites, you, there's not enough space. So like when you know, like if you take a bite and then you chew it up, it becomes mm -hmm. more. So when you have a big bite and you chew it up, it becomes too much to swallow. Mm -hmm. And that's where you see the kids choking or okay. they're swallowing. And when you're like gulping, you're getting like all this air, which yeah. can cause the stomach to be upset. Okay. So the smaller the bite, it gives you more room to chew, 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 and then yeah. practice your. Okay. If, causes more of a swallow, otherwise you're kind of just like chunking food down. Yeah. So that's why I encourage the small bites. I mean, they're small I mean, it's anyways. A good habit. It's a great yeah. habit and it's hard, like it's easier to start them when they're younger. Yeah. I mean, I didn't grow up like that and right. I have a hard time. Yeah. <laughs> like just I'm so starving, but you just like right. sit down. And then also it it's I mean you guys are nice and petite, but it does help with overeating. Yeah. Because it your body registers that you're becoming full versus just gulping things yeah. down. Yeah, so it makes sense. It, yeah, yeah, it makes so much sense. And like you hear people say this your whole life, it's like small bites, take your time, eat slow. And you're like, yeah. it doesn't matter. But really, the slow, the smaller bites you take, it helps your body realize you're full, right. and then it helps. Force to move. It helps your stomach to digest the food better. It can just yeah. make you feel overall better. So yeah, the small okay. bites. So yeah, this will be the lesson that I'll see you guys for a little while, okay. probably in. Now that you guys have a good basis.